You're watching KOS. Keep on shooting. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, KOS. I hope everybody's having a great day. So for today's video, I thought we'd do a part two to the pumpkin penetration test that we did on the last one. Only this time, we'll be shooting the Scout XT and shooting full butterfly bands. For the bands, that's 20 mil straight cut with an active band length of 13 inches. For the ammo that we'll be using, we got some 9.5 mil steel. We'll be giving the marbles another go. And then we also have some 10 mil lead. So if you're interested guys, stay tuned and let's get shooting. All right guys, already have our pumpkin set up. We have our Scout XT with our full butterfly bands. Just for comparison, here's what I usually shoot. These are precise 0.65 bands as well, but with the active length of six inches, which is what I normally shoot. So as you can see, a lot more rubber in the system. Let's do a penetration test. Let's see if we can penetrate the pumpkin. First up, we have the 9.5 mil steel. Oof, definitely a lot of power there. Shot number two. Sorry, I grabbed the lead ammo. Here's another steel shot. And as you can see, a lot of power behind those shots. It moved the pumpkin. Shot number three. There we go, we have our three shots there. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so that's with the 9.5 mil steel. And they did not come out to the other side. See if I can get it to focus. There we go. Definitely in there. All right, let's try the marbles next. All right, guys, now we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, move on with the marbles. Let's see if we can get some penetration on the pumpkin. Here's a small footage so that you can see what happened last time that we shot some marbles at it. Just for you to know if you're interested in watching the previous video feel free to do so well, let's go ahead and move on with the marbles let's see if we can get some penetration with full butterfly all right guys so let's shoot some marbles for this one i'm wearing safety glasses
All right, here we go. This feels kind of weird. It's kind of scary at the same time. Let's see if we can penetrate it. And we got some penetration. Very nice. Let's try that again. Sorry, let me set it up correctly on my finger. Okay, here we go. And penetration as well. We can see the marble there. Let's give it another shot. This style, I'm very new to it. Instead of holding like a regular hold, like this, I'm holding this way. And that way I can extend my arms comfortably all the way back. But I'm still getting used to this style, but I'm loving the power behind it. Very powerful stuff, a great setup. Last shot for the marble. Here we go. Sorry, the marble's a little bit too big for the pouch and I do not want to fork it. So I'm taking my time with it. Okay. Here we go. Last shot. Bam. Oof, great stuff guys full butterfly let's go check that out okay so we have one here and the other one here on the top and then we have one over here as well so we can see the marble great power behind those shots of course they did not make it all the way through those are glass marbles and they're extremely light and it's a very thin pumpkin as well very thick let's move on to the lead let's see how far they penetrate all right guys so now we're back those marbles were very surprising. A good penetration from something that light. Those are glass marbles. I was not able to penetrate with a short draw, but with butterfly, not a problem. Let's move on to the lead shot. So here, here we have a 10 mil lead. Let's get shooting. Boom. All right, shot number two. Boom. It's a workout pulling those bands back. Definitely a lot harder than 
Sheik Bone Anchor Point. This is shot number three. I think on that one, we got full penetration all the way. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we have our shots there. Let's see if they penetrate all the way. And they did, would you look at that? All three shots, full butterfly, 10 mil lead, did the trick. There's some pumpkin there in the catch box. This is the first time I ever shoot full butterfly and I like it. I'm just amazed by the power behind it. I'll probably be working on accuracy later on. See if I can shoot some cans at 10 meters. But for now, I just wanted to test the power of a full butterfly draw on a pumpkin. And I'm amazed. 10 mil lead, full butterfly. Definitely a very strong setup. All right, guys, so there we have it. Full penetration of the pumpkin using the Scalic C with full butterfly bands. 20 mil straight cut, precise 0.65. Great setup. Let's open that pumpkin up and let's see if we can find some ammo inside. All right, guys. So we have the pumpkin here. Let's open it up and collect some of our ammo back. All right guys, so I found a marble, but it's all shattered. I think we shattered it with the lead shot in my hand uh, hit it. We found another marble and this one's also shattered on the sides. I don't know if you can see that, but the steel shot is not in there. So it must be stuck on the wall of the pumpkin, like on my previous video. Let's continue inspecting it. So here's where the our first three shots with the 9.5 steel hit. Let's open up this area, see if we can find them there.
and they are not here. They must be on the back wall of the pumpkin. So we got some penetration on one side. As you can see there, there's some holes and there's nothing in here. So full penetration on one side. Let's continue covering up the pumpkin. So I'm gonna be cutting the back part of it, see if we can find our steel shot. Here we have our shots. Let's carve it on this part, see if we can find them. And here we have it guys. Here's our shot. It penetrated one side and lodged itself on the back side of the pumpkin. Pretty strong setup. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video. I just wanted to show you some shooting with the full butterfly setup. We're shooting the Scout XT. I highly recommend the slingshot. Look at that palm swell, fits the hand very comfortably. We're shooting OTT with some precise bands, 0.65, shooting full butterfly. All right guys, before I go, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who have liked the videos, subscribed and commented. It really means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. Um, I appreciate all the support that I'm receiving on this videos. You guys take care, and as always, keep on shooting guys. See you on the next one.